I will fight for the UK, otherwise I cannot call myself British. Yes, jolly good show. This is clearly a response to the UK General of the Armed Forces recently publicly announcing that as a Brit, you should be willing to go and lay your life on the line in service to the King, God save our King, and fight against this evil Putin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to address this comment. By all means, if you want to go and fight in a foreign war, you've done the research, you truly believe that this is a holy war. You understand the global politics, the machinations at play, and you truly believe in your heart of hearts that this is the right thing to do. By all means, be cannon fodder. Go and die in service to the king and these oligarchs, these tyrannical dictators that only have your best interests at heart. They aren't doing this out of some want to make money, but purely because they want to help people. By all means, go and do that. But if you want to go further and say that this is the British thing to do, I would remind you that Britain is renowned for something called the Magna Carta. It fought against the idea of rulers, tyrants, trying to force individuals to sacrifice their life, their liberty, their property for the greater good, for the king. Britain had rebellious origins. Britain was not about sacrificing yourself blindly in altruism for king and country. It was about many things, but it was also about freedom. And there is nothing more anti-British, there is nothing more tyrannical, there is nothing more evil than forcing people, conscripting people to go and be cannon fodder. One of the greatest evils that has ever taken place in the last few thousand years was slavery. What says slavery more than saying that you do not own your body? You are simply cannon fodder for your rulers, for your dictators. And if your dictators decide that you have to go and fight in a war overseas, well, you have to do that. It is the British thing to do. And if you rebel, well, we'll put you in jail. Ladies and gentlemen, Altruism is a beautiful thing. Being involved in holy wars, wanting to protect innocent people, it's a Christian thing to do. It is a moral thing to do. It is a good thing to do. But if you want to force people to do these things, force altruism, that becomes evil. That is the justification of all tyrants, all dictators, that it is necessary to sacrifice the plebs, the pawns, for the greater good, for a higher service. And if you fall victim to that attitude, it is not British, it is not good, it is immoral, it is evil, plain and simple.